radical expressions. Ready, class? Yeah! Yay, Ma? Yay, Ma! All right. Never gets old. Okay. So, first, you probably know how to simplify the square root of 9. Remember to speak up. If you have a question or a thought, I want to hear it. And uh, I'm going to do the same. So, what's the square root of 9? 3, but what's a radical? A radical is the square root. Oh, okay. Good question. These little things are radical. That's an 80s expression for cool. Or they're just square roots. <laughs> you know, you can call them root or whatever. Okay, so what does square root of 9 mean? I don't know. Someone else. Three. What does it mean? The base? No, what does it mean? Where it comes from. Oh, like, it's, if there's 3 times 3 is 9, but I don't know how Okay, what number times itself equals 9? Ah. Yeah. What number times itself equals 9? Three. 3. Okay, 3. What number times itself equals 100? Yes? 10. 10. Okay. What does Mr. do? Yes? So it's kind of like, it's the opposite of, like, squaring? And like, I mean, like, yes. on it's like... Okay. It's the opposite of squaring. That's what I call it, square root. Huh. Kind of get to the root of the matter. That makes sense. Square root. So 10 squared is 100. Okay, what number times itself equals 8? Now we're getting into it. Is there a number? A whole number? No. 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 So we have to do something else. What is it approximately? Approximately, what is it? Just so we know. Three. Three. Is it more than three or less than three? More three point five. Three point five. Well, if the square root of nine is three, wouldn't the square root of eight be less than three? No, it's like two point five. Yeah. Would it be closer to three, or two point five, or closer to three? Closer Maybe to three. Maybe like two point eight. Maybe two point eight. That's my best guess. Two. Two point eight or two point nine. Just so we know, that's what it is. All right. Watch the door there. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to actually split this into factors in which one of them is a perfect square. I'll show you what I mean. First and foremost, what is a perfect square? Four. Yes? Four. Okay, what is the definition of a perfect square? Yes? When there's a number that like times itself. A number times itself. Let's make a list of all the perfect squares here. Going vertically, because vertical is fun, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm standing vertically. <laughs> the sky was horizontal. Never yeah, mind. Any number the joke's done. Square? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. What's no, one no. times one? One. one. What's two times two? Four. Four. Next. Six. Nine. Nine. Three times three. Nine. Four times four? Sixteen. Five times five? Twenty-five. Six times six? Thirty-six. More? Forty-nine. More! More! 81. 100. 100. More? Yeah. 121. 121. 121. More? More? Uh, one. <laughs> Let me calculate. One. 20. 169. 169. <laughs> okay, let's leave it up there. Lucky number 13. Okay. These are the list of perfect squares. Okay. What we need to do now is split the 8 into factors in which one of them is the perfect square. So, factors means what multiplies to 8. So, what two numbers multiply to 8 in which one of them is in this list? 4. 4 times two. what? 2. All right. Here. 4 times 2. Many other teachers will do this different ways. They do what's called a factoring tree. This is my way. So, feel free to do it another way if you know. So 4 times 2, now that we wrote it like this, because 4 times 2 is equal to 8, we split it like so. Any problems with that? Yeah. Square root of 4 times square root of 2? Yes? Don't you make the square root of 4 just 2? That's the next step. Okay. That's the next step. The reason we did that was for the next step, square root of 4 is equal to 2. Square root of 2 we can't simplify anymore. So this is the answer. So the square root of 8 simplifies to 2 root 2, or 2 rad 2, or 2 times the square root of 2. Nice. 
All right, let's do another one. We'll leave that one up as an example. Okay. Square root of 27. So, what is the first step? Say it loud. Um, factor. You were saying it, go. You factor. Factor in which? One of the factors? Um, nine. Is a perfect square, and nine is one of those factors, yeah. So, that's my horse. <laughs> Except my leg. Oh. The horse, and my other leg is the giddy up. Yeah. Don't, do you have a horse? <laughs> you don't have a horse? What's wrong with I you? Have you have a pony? Aww. I have you have a, a donkey? <laughs> I have a little yeah, I have a little sister and brother. <laughs> 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 Stay focused, people. Okay. One of the factors is a perfect square? Nine. Nine. So now let's do the split technique. Nine times Nine. Oh. Alright, so what's the square root of nine, dear? Um, three. <laughs> now we're playing all the animals' parts today. Okay, so we're done with the animals. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So, questions on this? Yes. Yes, please. You have the... Th Never mind. Square root of nine is what? <coughs> three. Square root of three stays the square root of three. And that's it. So that's it in a nutshell. Let's do a bigger numbers. Oh, that's no. All right, now, who can explain what we're doing with the 9 and 3 again in their own words? Factory. Um, factory <coughs> in which what? <coughs> no, what it, factoring in what manner? <coughs> One of the factors is what? A perfect square. A perfect square. One of the factors is a perfect square. Okay. For example, Let's do 20. Okay. Wouldn't you agree that when you're factoring 20, you could do 10 times 2? 10 times 2 works. But are 10 or 2 perfect squares? No. Oh, so one of them has to be a perfect one square. One of them has to be a perfect and square. And that would be? That would be? 4. 4, four times 5. And five. That's right. That's the idea. So you don't, I'm going to put here 10 times 2, and I'm going to cross this out. This is, we don't, we avoid, we avoid this, because none of them are a perfect squares. None of them are perfect squares. Four is. Okay. Do you get it now? Thank you for the, thank you for checking in. It's okay, she gets it. Okay, this is, now can we write this as 2? Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 5 remains. That's it. Okay, I'm going to add to this instruction now. Not only do you want one of the factors to be a perfect square, you want one of the factors to be the largest possible perfect square. The largest possible perfect square. And here comes the classic example. I've had trouble with this one when I was your age. I got this one wrong, I remember. 48. All right, we're going to have fun with 48. So, what are some factors of 48 in which one of them is a perfect square? 